Creamer Media's Mining Weekly is speaking to Glenn McGavigan, the Executive Head, Technical and Projects of Kumba Iron Ore. Glenn, Kumba Iron Ore, I'm very pleased to say, has announced another growth project. And this time a 3.6 billion new plant at Sishin. Can you give us some of the motivation for that and the capacity of this plant? Tell us about it. We really are excited about, about the approval of the Sishin Ultra High Dense Media Separation Project. You know, and, and just for us, from a, you know, from a bigger perspective, it comes on the back of you know, having approved Cup Steel South, which was a 7 billion rand project you know, early in quarter three uh, last year. I think for us, it really is just, just showing our commitment to the Northern Cape and our belief in the Northern Cape, but also just in general mining in South Africa. So it's a really, really great news for us and, and really exciting. Um, just on the UHDMS project, you know, we, we really do see this as a game changer for, for Kumba. You know, we've been talking about it for quite a while. Now and we really are pleased that it's been, a, been approved. And I think if you just want to understand the project, I think it's important you consider the context in which you know, we operate in the Northern Cape um, as, a, as a major mining province or, or a district in the world. You know, we've got certain structural characteristics versus the majors, you know, the Australians and, and the Brazilians. Um, and that really is around our short life of mine. You know, at Sishin, up until the UHDMS, we only had a 12-year life of mine. But that really links links back to how much tonnage is in the ground. You know, we estimate the Northern Cape's probably got about a billion tons left. But if you think about the Australians and the Brazilians, they're talking 60 billion tons. So, so life of mine is challenged in, in the Northern Cape. And also, you know, from a, from a stripping ratio perspective, you know, how much waste we need to move in order to expose our ore. You know, we're sitting about four to one versus the Australians and the Brazilians at one to one or maybe two to one. So that's also a structural disadvantage. But I think the one major benefit that the Northern Cape has is just its inherent quality of its product. You know, we get, it's from, from both an FE and a lump perspective, you know, last year we averaged $15 a ton more premium than, than some of the majors that just because of, of our drive to, uh, on, on quality. So if you think about the UHDMS in those, in that context, you know, you'd, you'd obviously wanted to enhance, you know, what you're, what you're already doing. Um, so what the, what the technology does, it basically makes it possible for us to increase the densities in our plant and in, in our DMS plant from 3.6, between 3.6 and, and 4.2. And that does a few things for us. So firstly, it means we can beneficiate better. So we can upgrade our premium product offering from about 8 million tons to 20 million tons. So you know, increasing by 12 million. And like I said, that, that attracts us quite a nice premium over and above, above the market. So it really does play into the Northern Capes know, inherent characteristics. Then secondly, because we are, uh, uh, could lower the cutoff grade, we can essentially bring about 130 million tons of reserves, you know, into, into our portfolio, which extends our life of mine through, other, through a combination of other projects we've also done from 12 years to 19 years. So we've basically added seven years to the life of Sishin, which has got huge benefits for us, but also just think about the region, you know, a, a minor size of Sishin um, you know, 53% of the population in that area is either directly or indirectly, you know, employed by, by, by the mines. So it's got huge, huge benefits for the region. And then, you know, because we're converting waste into ore, you know, we, the overall strip ratio of Sishin goes down from 3.8 to 3.1. So this technology really is a game changer for us all around and, you know, does position us from a sustainability and a quality perspective much, much, much better into the future. So really are excited about it. I can see why you should be excited. That's really great news. But who is the brains behind us? Who develops these technologies and uh, does all the behind the scenes work to, is it a South African te technology or are you copying someone? Uh, so it's a South African technology. So, so UHDMS is just a, a very specialized ferrosilicone that we use. Um, is, and you know, essentially we use a, a dense media separation. So we essentially put our ore through this bath of ferrosilicone and our, our ore sinks and the waste floats essentially how we, we separate out. But about, about five years ago, we went into a partnership with Exaro, um, who were developing a, quite a specialized FESI, which they called Ultra High Dense Media. Um, and we started producing pilot plants with them, you know, to apply to our ore. We built three modular plants, you know, two at Sish and one at Columella. You know, we've been operating these things for, you know, for the last four years. And now we're comfortable that we can actually upscale that, that technology to apply to the Sishin plant, which is a 26 to a 28 million ton plant. So much, much on a much larger scale, but you know we've taken the modular approach, and now we can really, with confidence, install this and, and basically retool our business, you know, for the future. So, so proudly South African. 